Before we look at ray diagrams, we should get a simple idea of how lenses work. And I've got two different types of lenses here. There are two main types. We got convex and concave. Convex is curved outward. Concave is curved inwards. You can sort of think of this as if you tip it over, it's like a cave. So that's how I remember concave. Convex lenses, this type, are called converging lenses sometimes. That's because when light travels through the lens, it hits the lens, goes through it, and the light focuses to a point and then spreads back out again. So it converges right here. And we have a number that describes a lens. Every lens has a focal length. That's the number that tells us a little bit about the lens so we can figure out what's going to happen with it. The focal length for a convex lens or converging lens is the length from the middle of the lens to where that point is that all the rays converge. The other type of lens, concave, is also sometimes called a diverging lens. This kind of lens, when light hits it, it spreads out. So it doesn't look like it's going to be easy to find the focal length here. What we really have to do is trace back this line. This, where the light diverges, you trace back, and where that point is, that's the focal length from the center of the lens. So we also have a number that describes this type of lens. Now looking at the two types of lenses, I can see different images. So let's first look at the convex lens. A convex lens will create two types of images. I can look through it and see an image. When you're looking through the lens, that is a virtual image. And I look through it at something far away and it's all blurry and it's not really a good image. But if I use it like a magnifying glass, I put my finger here and I can see my finger through the lens and it's magnified. So it's bigger, it's upright, it's the same orientation as my original finger. And it's virtual because I'm looking through the lens. So this type of lens can create one, a virtual image. I can also use this like in a camera to project something. Like the light above me, the light comes through the lens and is projected through the lens onto the paper. And I can actually focus. You can't see that. But I can see that that light, an image of it, is focused on this paper. So when an image is focused on a screen of some sort, it's a real image. So this can create a virtual image and a real image. And the thing about this type of lens is, if the object is past the focal length, so the lens, this lens focal length may be about that big, if I put something beyond that, like that light, it will create um, a real image. If something is closer than the focal length, the focal length is here, and I put my finger here, it will give me a virtual image. So a convex lens, can create a real and a virtual image. It depends on where the object is. If the object is further than the focal length, it's going to be a real image. If the ob object is closer than the focal length, it's going to be virtual and I look through the lens. Concave lenses are much simpler. They only create one type of image. I can never create an image onto a screen using this concave lens. So with a concave lens, you have to look through it. It only creates a virtual image. And no matter where the object is, it's always going to be upright and smaller. So if I'm asked the image characteristics for this, I already know the answer. Any image is going to be upright and smaller and virtual. So now we know a little bit about the lenses. We can start drawing ray diagrams to figure out how we do this. 